Hi, everybody. Meteorologist Joe Chaffee here. Weather in five, five days and five minutes on this Saturday night. Brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, New York, and Southwest Suffolk County on Long Island. And they serve the entire New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, tri-state area. They are Long Island's largest rock salt source. So if you can't find rock salt where you are, you can head over to Omni. They also have all the great snow and ice melt products like Mag and Pelado. Might need a new snow blower or two. Or maybe you just need to supplies to get you through any kind of winter storm. 631-756-1125 for the best prices anywhere. OmniTrueValue.com is the website. Got winter weather advisories up for Sunday into Sunday night. And right now they cover the Hudson Valley, mainly north of Route 84. Also uh, in northwestern and north central Connecticut, uh, including Hartford. Uh, we have advisories up in the western half of Massachusetts and also all the way up uh, I-87 uh, and along I-90 from Albany on westward. And as far as snow amounts are concerned, this is not going to be any kind of big deal. The uh, southern flank is probably right along I-95 in Connecticut uh, and maybe even into northern portions of New York City. Uh, northern New Jersey, where we could see anywhere from a coating to perhaps a couple of inches. Some elevated areas could probably do better uh, in, in the Hudson Valley uh, and places up around Poughkeepsie and into the Catskills and further north as you head up uh, into upstate New York. I think there's going to be a few localized surprises with this because of an upper low that's dropping uh, southward. And uh, the uh, surprise might come perhaps for Long Island. And for areas in northern New Jersey south to say Route 78 or a little bit further south than that, where there could be a change over to snow and maybe a light accumulation from that. We're just going to have to monitor radars tomorrow to see whether that's going to happen. Also want to mention to northeastern Pennsylvania, which is not under any kind of advisory at the moment, uh, is another area that could wind up seeing winter weather advisories going up. Meanwhile, uh, out in the east uh, in the ocean, you see a storm there. Uh, we had a weather disturbance Friday night into Saturday morning that didn't have any room and it totally fell apart. Well, this one's got more room because this ocean storm is a little bit further to the east. Uh, there's an upper air storm system that's with this too, a vigorous little shortwave that is moving on through the northeast for Sunday into Sunday night. And that's really all this is. Uh, and then it's going to go on its merry way. Uh, we uh, are also seeing, by the way, and we don't want to leave out because this out because this will be, will be important later this week, uh, later next week, I should say, uh, is a storm system coming into the west. And we are going to see probably winter storm warnings and maybe even some blizzard warnings going up uh, in uh, parts of uh, the Dakotas. Just want to see what's going on there right now. We have a large area of winter storm watches up for North Dakota, most of South Dakota, Northwestern Nebraska, Eastern Montana, Northeastern uh, Wyoming. And you can see all the winter storm warnings and winter weather advisories that are up uh, to the west of there uh, for what's coming inland at the moment. This could be a fairly potent storm as it moves on to the east. On the uh, radar at the moment, not a whole lot happening. You see uh, rain from Texas across Arkansas and into northern Alabama and now into northern Georgia. That is moving eastward. The south is th that area of the south is going to be dealing with rain again uh, after some areas got a break today where we haven't seen sun in many days. Uh, now uh, did get to see some today. Around the Great Lakes, you're beginning to see uh, some snows there. That's part of that upper air system that is moving to the southeast. And of course, you see all the action going on in the west, particularly in California, some very heavy rains going on right now uh, uh, near and north of Los Angeles, and those are moving on up to the northeast with heavy snow up in the mountains. So um, you've got the accumulation forecast. I do want to show you here uh, from the folks at WPC, uh, they uh, on their long range is kind of interesting. So this is the long range we go back to Wednesday. Wednesday, uh, you have a 90% probability of at least two to three inches of snow uh, in the Dakotas and uh, 
also a slightly lower percentage, but still a very high 70 to 90 percent in that light blue area surrounding that going into Minnesota and going back into Montana. This is in their day four of the long range. Now on day five, which is Thursday, and we're going to shift this to the east. Uh, we're going to start to see perhaps the impacts of that storm system moving east. So late on day five, which is Wednesday into Thursday, so be Wednesday night, we have a 10 to 30 percent chance of two or three inches of snow in the mountains of northwestern Virginia, West Virginia, central PA, and into southwestern New York. When we move into the Thursday Friday time frame, we are already seeing WPC has 10 to 30 percent just touching New York City and Philadelphia to Washington, D.C. and Baltimore. But we also have 30 to 50 and even 50 to 70 percent probability of being indicated back into Pennsylvania. And then for the Friday to Saturday time frame, uh, also seeing some high percentages uh, up and through upstate New York with the southern end of the 10 to 30, just north and west of uh, New York City, and then running east to about Harrisburg. I expect this to change in, in the coming days as we watch uh, this uh, system uh, evolve. In the meantime, let's take care of this first system here, and we're going to use the HRRR tonight uh, only so that I can illustrate what, what might happen tomorrow night. So this is now uh, tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. Light snows in parts of central and western PA. They start to break out in northern Jersey and in the Hudson Valley. Uh, some rain on the southern end of that. And then as the upper low comes into play Sunday night, you see a little arm of snow that just sort of comes down there and drops southward. This is where I'm talking about that where the coastal areas that were rain, going to rain tomorrow could wind up seeing a little bit of snow. Wouldn't amount to much, but uh, it may, might be amount to, uh, enough to leave a coating to an inch or so if this winds up materializing. Now the next weather system, and this is for later next week, we still have this blocking pattern in the atmosphere and uh, we're going to use uh, the most recent gfs run uh, you see the low there in colorado uh, the snow that breaks out in the dakotas and nebraska the uh, severe weather that's going to break out on tuesday uh, moving into the mississippi valley a very large area of severe weather in fact and that's going to push eastward we've got a big high in eastern canada that's building to south down the east coast so that should keep us dry after the system gets out on Monday, we'll be dry for Tuesday and Wednesday. And then we'll watch the track of this low. The primary low in Nebraska is going to die out. A new low is going to form near North Carolina. Try to make its way northward. It's going to hit the block and then start pushing to the east. And that's going to be really important in terms of the overall outcome of this particular system. It's going to be uh, the track, of course, and how strong does this get. Uh, but you see what happens when storms hit a block they want to go north but they can't so that's when they get pushed out to the east and this is we have this kind of situation situation setting up for later this week and we'll start talking more about this after we get rid of the system uh, that we have for sunday weather in five is brought to you by omni true value hardware at 1226 north wellwood avenue in west babylon new york 631-756-1125 is the telephone number and the website is omnitruevalue.com. So I'll leave you with the uh, satellite loop here and I'll get myself out of the way and put myself on the other side so you can get a good look at it. The uh, Joe and Joe Weather Show will be back tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. So we hope to see you then.